Before we move to 2020, we see Lachlan Valley Railways 3237 in the south coast of New South Wales. The loco is seen storming through Wambara heading its way to Scarborough from Wollongong on Sunday, November 10th, 2019. The shuttle trains are provided by Sydney Rail Services, who are in charge of the picnic trains to Kayama. 42103 from Chum Rail is providing assistance for the train and will pull the shuttles towards Wollongong on return journeys from Scarborough. We now move to North Wollongong as the train makes its way to Scarborough again on its second run. We conclude the day with 3237 on its third trip to Scarborough through Taraji. This was the last STEAM event for 2019 and for the 2010s. There were supposed to be more picnic trains to Kayama as far as December, but due to the 2019 to 2020 bushfires that had affected Australia, they were cancelled for the right reason. During the New South Wales steam pre-season, we visited the Canberra Railway Museum at Canberra, Australia's capital, in the Australian Capital Territory on Australia Day, January 26, 2020. This was the first time we have visited the museum since 2014, when the museum was celebrating the 100th anniversary of the railway line coming to the Australian capital. The Railway Museum goes back to its incarnation as far as 1967, when it was established by the ACT Division of the Australian Railway Historical Society, with its goal of preserving railway history that's associated with Canberra and the Southern District of New South Wales. Sadly, after 49 years, the museum had faced liquidation in 2016 following its freight company, SP Railroad Service, being $700,000 in debt. The freight company was established to subsidise the museum's expensive heritage trips. During 2017, the land which the museum was built upon was registered on the ACT heritage list because of its heritage value of being on the Commonwealth Railways land. However, an auction was made that same year selling off heritage rolling stock, locomotives and scrap metal to pay off the debt to the liquidators. However, the museum had kept its important items such as 1210, which we will see later on. In 2018, two not-for-profit companies were established. One is called Capital Region Heritage Rail Limited, which focuses running the Railway Museum, and ACT Heritage Rail Holdings Limited, who is responsible for safeguarding the heritage items. 
The museum was later reopened on Saturday, September 1st, 2018, with a visit of its former prized possession, 6029 who is now under private ownership and is now based at Thelmia. This here is 1210 who holds significant importance to Canberra as being the first steam locomotive to pull into the nation's capital with the first revenue earning train. It was a coal train for the main electricity generation station. 1210, whose original number was 120 before the New South Wales Government Railways renumbering scheme in 1924, was built by Bear Peacock & Co in Manchester, England in 1878, and is one of the oldest operational mainline locomotives in the world in being one of the Australian eight-wheeler locomotives. Its wheel configuration is a 440. Before its historical significance in Canberra, 1210 used to work on the lines that serve southern and western New South Wales. After 15 years it moved to Penrith, and then in 1896 it went to the far north of New South Wales. It returned to Sydney in 1912, and then moved to Goulburn in 1914 holding trains to Queanbeyan. 1210 was declared obsolete in 1932, and was withdrawn, but not scrapped due to a shortage of engines, and had hauled branch line trains in 1935 at Moree in northern New South Wales. It was withdrawn again but re-entered service due to wartime pressure. After the Second World War, the engine returned to Parks to serve as an emergency or relief engine in 1947 until 1958 when it was finally withdrawn from public railway service. The following year, it was preserved. During its retirement, 1210, along with sister locomotive 1243, who is now preserved by the Museum of Applied Arts and Science in Sydney, had hauled the last steam train to Gosford in 1960 when the line was electrified, which led to the New South Wales Government Railway's creation of the Vintage Train, a special train hauled by 1243 in 1709, the latter preserved at Thelmere, double-heading the train around the state to coincide with local historical events. 1210 was withdrawn from special service in 1962 and was transferred to Canberra to be placed on a plinth outside of Canberra Railway Station, with the ARHS obtaining permission to clean and polish the locomotive until 1984 when the Society retrieved the engine to be restored in time for Australia's bicentennial. The restoration was supported and funded by the Bicentennial Authority, and 1210 returned to service in 1988, just in time to take part of Austin 88 in Melbourne, Victoria, with the world-famous Flying Scotsman in attendance. At that time, it was the oldest operational mainline steam locomotive in the world. 1210 is now being restored once again. However, it had been held back due to the liquidation crisis of the museum. We hope to see this old veteran running again soon. Steam returns at the New South Wales Rail Museum in Thelmere from Saturday, February 29th to Sunday, March 1st, 2020. Usually at this time of the year, the Thelmere Festival of Steam was held to open the season, but it had been postponed on January 23rd, 2020 due to the bushfires from mid to late 2019 to early 2020. Thankfully, all of the bushfires had been contained thanks to the sheer dedication and hard work of the brave firefighters. We here at Rail Around New South Wales give our utmost respect to them and we give our condolences to the people who were affected by the fires. The locomotives running the train to Buxton are the Museum's 2705 and Museum of Applied Arts and Sciences 3265. Here we see them at Thelmia on Sunday, March 1st, 2020, getting ready for their first shuttle train for the day.
Later, we see them passing through Kurijad. Before we see the two locos returning to Thelmere, we make a stop at the museum to see Australia's most famous steam locomotive 3801 in its undercoat. This was the first time we see the 38 class engine in the roundhouse, as was under construction when it left for its restoration base at Chalora in 2009. 3801 returned to the museum on Friday, January 24, 2020 under its own steam, and it conducted two successful trial runs in the area. Now the locomotive is seen getting a new coat of paint and getting ready to return to the main line where it belongs. We will be covering 3801 in future Rail Around New South Wales videos the moment it returns to full service. Later we see 2705 and 3265 shunting themselves for their second run to Buxton. With passengers on board, the two locos now make their way to Buxton on their second trip.
Steam returned to the southern part of the New South Wales Main Line on Saturday, March 7, 2020 with the picnic train by Sydney Rail Services for the Kiama Jazz and Blues Festival. This year, 3526 from the New South Wales Rail Museum and 5917 from the 5917 Syndicate are hauling the train to Kiama in the New South Wales South Coast. The two locomotives are seen at Carlton, heading their way to pick up more booked passengers at Hurstville. Later in the day, 5917, now at the front, and 3526 are now seen passing through Alawa, heading their way back to Sydney after dropping off their passengers at Hurstville. Next day, Sunday, March 8, 2020, we see the two locos heading their way to Kayama once again, this time passing through Loftus after picking up booked passengers at Sutherland. Next, we see the two engines at Stanwell Park. Next, Unindera.
On the final leg of the journey, the two locos are now seen at Bombo, which is near Kayama. At Kayama, 3526 had been turned and will be serviced ready for the return journey to Sydney. Meanwhile, 5917 is seen shunting. Coal is now being loaded into 3526's tender. After being serviced, 3526 will now make its way for 5917 to be turned and serviced.
Later on the day, 5917 is seen at the bridge getting ready for the return journey. After that, 5917 and 3526 depart Kayama, heading their way back to Sydney. This is where we conclude our April edition of Rail Around New South Wales.